Spectators turned out by the thousands to watch the week-long World Cup activities at Sugarloaf Mountain in Maine. Early estimates by those in the know were placed at 9 to 12,000 as to what the crowd would be. A few of the more daring predictors, at a risk of being scoffed at, went out on a limb and stated that at least 25,000 would be coming. But no one, no one at all, thought that a total of 50,000 persons would show up. And that's just what happened. They came, they saw, and they were thrilled to an unprecedented total of four downhill and two giant slalom races, all squeezed into four hectic days. On hand to welcome one and all to the festivities was the 67th governor of the great state of Maine, Kenneth M. Curtis. I want to extend our warmest welcome to all of our guests here, and especially to the competitors, the press, and the others from the world of international skiing. The tall timber classic theme adopted for these World Cup races is best portrayed by the three giant pine trees that have been guiding the bunny slope these many weeks. This afternoon, we'll finally see them put to use as they fly the flags of the United States, the state of Maine, and the Federation Internationale de Ski, the FIS, the ruling body of amateur skiing. The flags will be affixed to the pole by three expert climbers from the Maine Arborist Association. On the right-hand pole is Dan Harkins from Oakland. In the center is Wes McCabe from Westbrook, and our third climber is Bernie Thompson from Brewer. And holding the rope to three is Bill Hoffman's charming pencil stars. So get well, there they are. They all made it. And I think Bernie Thompson's been practicing this morning. He's right up there. There, now they are. They Opening ceremonies included all the pomp and pageantry that one would expect at a World Cup. This was the great moment for the officials that had dreamed for so long of bringing such a prestigious event to the Pine Tree State. On hand to provide music was the Maine Maritime Academy Band. Final strains of the national anthem echoed throughout the mountains of the Carabasset Valley. A flight of jets from Loring Air Force Base flew over the crowds in a missing man formation. <laughs> <laughs> 